guitar I got off of Amazon. I did a couple of searches on the internet for uh, this guitar. This is a uh, bullf uh, bullfighter guitar on Amazon. If you notice, it's a classical guitar type uh, nylon strings. The, the neck is about the same uh, width as a, as a classical guitar. You can see the head joint basically up here with the tuning mechanisms. Basically looks like a classical guitar. Uh, the strings are, are rounded like a classical guitar. And, but it's a completely electric guitar, so if I turn the amp off, so it's basically kind of a silent guitar in some ways. Yeah. And the action's a little bit um, high, um, but in classical guitars you get that a little bit. It, it's, it's usually going to be a little bit higher than, than an electric guitar, especially when you're trying to do some you know fast guitar playing. So uh, it's a pretty good guitar. Now, uh, for a long time, I used a classical guitar as my main gigging guitar, uh, especially if we go back to like the 2005s and 4s when I was doing open mic nights uh, here in uh, Nacogdoches at Rita's. Um, I, I used a, a, a classical guitar. That was a guitar I actually used when I taught guitar lessons also as well. So uh, I got pretty good at you know, playing rock and roll or blues or whatever with a classical guitar. Now one thing that's kind of nice about nylon strings is they have a different sound to them. Uh, they don't wear your fingers out. When I kind of went more to playing a, a Stratocasters, electric guitars, uh, it took a little while for my fingers to get uh, get the calluses again. So this is a pretty good guitar. Uh, the volume, and if you listen to the tone, that's all the way up. It's all the way down. Not a lot of change. A little bit. I kind of uh, fool around with my, my amp a little bit to kind of have the low end be a little bit more responsive. Now I played around with a little bit of the thrust rod and I got a little bit of a buzz there and I, I, can, I can probably lift up the, the bridge a little bit or sand it down a little bit to kind of get a little closer. If I uh, could get a hold of a good Luther friend of mine, uh, maybe they can make it a little bit more playable. But it is playable for a lot of things. So if I want to do... Especially with open chords. that I didn't actually play because uh, I usually get, a, get them at pawn shops or sometimes, sometimes guitar shops and usually I spend you know somewhere between an hour um, at least 30 minutes on a guitar before I take it home and I never plug it into the, to the amp because I want, to, I want the natural sound of the guitar because if the guitar doesn't sound good unplugged all you're doing is amplifying it now this one actually has passive pickups so a 9 volt, volt battery they usually last forever uh, you can see that the, the typical Place where you plug in a guitar here on the side here, like a Les Paul, like a Les Paul does, a uh, Telecaster, and whatnot. Or we get a little higher. So this, because uh, it is a classical guitar, it has a pretty big stretch. And again, I played a lot of classical guitar uh, when I was in university. When I was in university. The reason why I still got some nails because I still like to be able to be able to finger pick. So it's kind of a cool guitar for a, a lot of aspects. So if, if you're into playing classical guitar, you want this nylon, 
uh, sound for either classical guitar music or for folk music. Um, I think it works. Again, I use this type of guitar for a lot of different things. Now, if you play a regular electric guitar, this is a thick neck. It's going to take you a while to get your hands in because the action is a little high as well. It's going to be a little hard. And for jazz, it would be cool also. cool aspects that you can do with this guitar. Now you might not be shredding, but you can still play a lot of really cool stuff with it. With your punk rocker. It's definitely going to have a different sound to it. And uh, basically, because it is a, it's, it's, it's built like a classical guitar, um, it's pretty good. So this thing was on sale for $150 on the Black Friday sales, and I got it in last week. Took a little while to stretch the strings, like, like not on strings usually take a little time for that. I wanted to make sure it was in playing position. Played one gig with it, uh, went open mic with it, and it sounded really good. So uh, this may be a, gig, a nice, cool gig guitar. I need to play right classical guitar music on the road. This could be something I can take with me. Uh, and if I need to do something like finger picking type stuff for recordings, because I can plug it in. And obviously, if you have it plugged into uh, some type of uh, pedal modify, uh, sorry, pedal uh, stop boxes or things like that, you can do a lot more with it. Um, it's, it's a fun guitar. If it was down like a couple of millimeters, I think it would be, it'd be even better. So I may try to play around with the thrust rod a little bit more and see if I can get it to kind of just find that happy medium uh, as close to the fret as possible without buzzing. So anyways, I recommend this guitar if you're into a, uh, this again, this nylon type sound. It's, a, uh, it's an interesting sound to have. Get a home recording uh, and you play guitar a bit it, it's going to take a little while for you to get acclimated to the classical guitar neck but you know if you've been playing for a while it's, it's not that big of a stretch and uh, it makes you scream faster I know when I went from a classical guitar to electric guitar I could just fly because of the because it's so much smaller the, the frets and everything I can feel a little bit of uh, you know I could probably sand down the frets on the side and that's a sign of an economical guitar uh, usually these type of guitars like this go for you know hundreds, five hundred dollars, three thousand dollars. So when I saw one for uh, 150 on sale for uh, the Black Friday specials. Now currently I don't, I, on Amazon I don't see them on sale. Uh, they may be out of stock right now. So I don't know if they're not, hopefully they'll make them again. Um, they have the acoustic one that's on there like a, like, a, like a regular acoustic guitar. But I got tons of those. And uh, but so I thought I'd get this for uh, get this for me for Christmas. So it's going to be a merry Christmas indeed. So thank you guys. Thank you for watching. As always, rock and roll on the course of this computer. If you like this type of amazing content, you know what you need to do. Computer, y'all, subscribe. Yeah. Subscribe.